हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो ए टेक्निक टू मैनेज न्यूक्लियर कैटरैक सो इफ न्यूक्लियर प्रोसेस इज वन टू टू एंड इट्स प्योरली अ न्यूक्लियर कैटरैक you can try this technique this technique requires good ccc as uh, in any other case it should not be too small so we should avoid small rexes less than 4.5 after doing a good uh, ccc the there are three key steps in this technique so we'll watch it one by one I have also kept the parameters of the machine so that uh, you know which parameters to use for doing this technique. Now this is the first very important step. First part is cortex cleaving hydrodissection, and the second part is the hydrodelineation. You can see the beautiful golden ring, and uh, not just the golden ring, but it is complete, and you can see some cleavage between the cortex and the nucleus. There, there is some separation. So that indicates that the nucleus is now separated from the epineucleus and this is another key step the next step will be to remove the anti epineucleus so once you remove the anti epineucleus the nucleus is directly exposed so just watch how i do it i am using the parameter similar to the trench so just a low vacuum to remove the epineucleus and uh, no phaco energy used and now what i do is that i go to the edge of this nucleus and give vacuum so i am using around 400 to 450 panel vacuum and i lift up the nucleus once the nucleus is lifted out of the bag you can just emulsify it it's a soft grade 1 to 2 cataract and you can emulsify it very easily without need of any divisions or further separation so that's a nice trick to have particularly dealing with these kind of cataract which are otherwise soft but having nuclear sclerosis we typically see these patients having refractive changes recently under microscope you may find that there is no cataract but these are the nuclear cataract that we see so the first step is good hydrodelineation you can see that cleavage which has happened there now the anti epineucleus removal and then uh, we have to target the edge of this uh, nucleus which is there so do make sure that you have done a good hydrodelineation before you go on to the next step and just you can see i could lift the nucleus up from the edge using just vacuum and uh, if required we can use little bit of longitudinal power and after that it's just uh, very easy to emulsify so when you see similar case next time do try this technique and you can comment about this technique thank you